Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Matt. And this is the Camaro to buy right here. Yes. This one. Yes. Aspect. This is the sleeper, although this rapid blue exactly wouldn't yeah. play into that. Yeah, yeah. But this is the sleeper Camaro of all Camaros. The working man's Camaro. Yes. This, this is as 1960s Camaro as you can get. And the reason we have the hood popped right now is because it has the 455 horsepower 6.2 liter v8 uh -huh. with a six-speed manual yes this is the 2022 chevrolet camaro lt1 and we are going to do a quick walk around explaining why this sub forty thousand dollar camaro is the one you need to buy this is the one you want right here all right so you heard me right the window sticker is right here and i kid you not 39,975. So it still meets the qualification <laughs> of being sub 40,000 as it sits here with a sunroof. Like it, it blows my mind <laughs> that in 2022, I guess, you can get a 455 horsepower rear wheel drive V8 powered six speed manual sports car for sub 40 grand. Yeah, it's like, pretty wild. Th yes. This is the one you need to get. This LT1 badge here on the side uh, lets you know that there's something special under the hood. Otherwise, it really looks like a typical RS V6 Camaro. Yeah. Uh, it is a sleeper. It doesn't shout V8 power. It doesn't say SS. It doesn't have scoops and wings. It's not a Z01. It is an unassuming, again, outside of the rapid blue paint job, it's an unassuming two plus two with all the right power in the front, powering the rear wheels. And you and still can't see out of it. A proper <laughs> manual <laughs> transmission. And yes, uh, this I mean, platform Camaro has uh, gotten a lot of flack for being coffin-like inside. Very, very it's slim, a little dark. slender uh, window openings. But, uh, who needs to see out of any window but forward, right? Everything uh, is forward. Uh, keep, keep it going in that direction. Yeah, but, fair enough. Yeah, less yeah. than 40 grand. Uh, you get typical analog gauges up front. I'm okay you, with that. You do have a small-ish for today's world. Uh, what is that, eight inch touchscreen up there? I'm okay with that. I, I like how Chevy has built in the uh, climate control adjustment with the big rings around the uh Ooh, those vents. are pretty cool I, yeah. I do like those very cool tactile feel there as well uh yes not the best interior that general motors has ever made that definitely goes to the c8 corvette but well but the places you're gonna have your hands the places you're gonna be touching like in the door panel here this is leather yeah right the steering wheel is leather this pad where your arm is resting the shifter like where you're gonna be is all nice to touch. It's just the little noisy stuff here and there that makes it a little a little less nice. Yeah. All right, Matt, here at the back end, uh, Camaros get a lot of flack for their small trunk and small trunk opening. Right. That's not why you're buying this car. No. You're buying this car because it is a cheap rear wheel drive V8 powered sports car. Yes. And it does it well. In fact, for 34 grand, you can walk out of a Chevy, Chevy dealership with this this vehicle, not this exact one. This one again. A couple more uh, bells and whistles on this a one. A few but. options on it, but this one, as it sits, has cloth seats. Uh, the manual transmission doesn't cost any extra. Just a few options here or there, but still sub forty grand for a vehicle that again doesn't waste money on screaming to the world with big wings that have aero options that really short of being on the track you're not going to need the, yeah so they don't do you much good th this really is like you said the every man's the working man's camaro this is the working man's sports car this is this is how i would spec it right here let me take this one home as is uh <laughs> it's only a short drive back to texas here from la right uh yeah we'll see you next week yeah okay that's, that's how that would work so there you have it gearheads <laughs> a sub 40 grand v8 american rear wheel drive sports car i love it uh, I personally had a 2012 SS, so you know I love it. Uh, but if you love this, love the video, love more content like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell so you get notified every time we post something. Check out everything that we do behind the scenes 
at Facebook and Instagram, both at gtgaragetalk.com. Everything we do can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. I think I screwed that up. That's all right. You know what I mean. <laughs>